Hi, I'm Nico Mara here with Manhattan Beach Toyota, and I'm going to help you set up your connected services today. We're going to be using a 2025 Toyota Camry, so we'll get started right now. To begin, you go to your app store, whether you have an iPhone or an Android. Uh, right now, we're going to use an iPhone, so you go to the app store, type in Toyota. It's the first one that comes up. It'll be red with the white Toyota logo. You download it. And it takes about a minute, but once it's downloaded, uh, if you haven't downloaded this app before, you would register it by typing in your name, email, and phone number. If you already have an account, then you just use the same username and password you've used before. So today we're going to be creating a new account. So we'll type in my name, Nico. Mara. All right, so once you filled out everything, you go ahead and press register, and you're going to get an activation code sent to your email. So you copy it, it's six digits, and you enter it, and you hit verify account. You can even give it permission to use your face ID to allow you to log in faster. Then you'll get to the screen where you have to enter the VIN number of the vehicle. You can do that by scanning it on the window sticker or the barcode that's on the side of the door jam. Once you scan the VIN, you'll get here to where it says scan QR code. Now in order to do that, you now go to the touch screen you press the language you want. You have either English, Spanish, or French. So we'll do English today. We'll enter mobile number. And then the QR code should pop up and you go ahead and scan it with your phone. And then from there you continue on your device. So you have the option to give your car a nickname if you want. And you can also choose your preferred servicing dealer, which in this case is Manhattan Beach Toyota. And it gives you a list of what your vehicle's capabilities are. So this one comes with Wi-Fi Connect, Drive Connect, Remote Connect, Safety Connect, Service Connect, and it is Android Auto and Apple CarPlay compatible wireless. So you no longer have to carry around the USB to connect to your car. You can just do it with uh, the Bluetooth. You hit Save Changes. And you're going to create an account pin for privacy or security reasons. So we'll just do one, two, three, four, five, six. But it is recommended that you choose a pin that isn't as easy to guess. And right here it gives you a breakdown of the trials that you get. So the first one is Safety Connect. And that's going to be free for 10 years. Now after the 10 years, it's going to go away. But if you choose to uh, keep it, then you just have to opt in again. Now Safety Connect is important because if you're involved in an accident or your vehicle is stolen, or something unexpected happens where you need roadside assistance, Safety Connect is here to help and send assistance directly to your vehicle's GPS location. So, you know, if you get into an accident and your airbags deploy, they automatically get a notification and they reach out to you to make sure you're okay and to send you 911 or uh, an ambulance or whatever it is that you need. Uh, same with uh, roadside assistance. If you uh, get a flat or, um, you know, something happens, you just press this SOS button up here and it connects you with the Toyota Safety Connect uh, call center where they'll be able to assist you. The next trial is Service Connect, also for 10 years, and that is uh, to assist you with getting up-to-date information on your vehicle's health and data, uh, whether it's uh, fuel level, mileage, maintenance alerts, um, or if there's a light on your dash that needs your attention, it'll send you a notification as well as your dealer. Uh, Drive Connect is Toyota's uh, built-in cloud-based navigation system. You get a one-year trial to that. Remote Connect is also a one-year trial. With Remote Connect, you can start your car uh, through the app. You can turn it on and off by holding the start button for three seconds. You can even lock and unlock the doors by pressing the lock and unlock buttons for three seconds as well. If you leave a door open, if you leave the door unlocked, if you leave the windows open, your app will send you a notification. 
And the last trial that you get is Wi-Fi Connect. It's for three gigs or 30 days, whichever comes first. And it's very easy to connect. It's powered through AT&T. And then hit confirm and continue. And you know you finished when it says congratulations with the green check mark. It means you're good to go. And you just hit finish setup. And it will take you to the home screen of your Toyota app where you'll be able to see the uh, buttons that allow you to use the remote connect. So you'll see the start button, the lock and unlock button. You'll be able to see your vehicle status, your tire pressure, doors, windows, whether they're locked or unlocked or open. You can also see the health report as well. It'll show you information on safety recalls, service campaigns, or any vehicle alerts that are important. You'll also be able to see your current mileage and your um, uh, fuel tanks uh, level. So if you're running low on gas, you'll be able to see through the app from inside the office or inside your home. Uh, one of the other benefits of using the Toyota app is that if you lose your owner's manuals, they're on here digitally. You can also schedule your maintenance directly through the app. Uh, you can also do your payment if you are financing or leasing through Toyota. And you can also shop for parts. And then uh, now that this is all set up, now we'll come back to the touch screen here and set up the Bluetooth. So we'll hit yes to set up Bluetooth. And we'll hit search for devices. And this is my iPhone right here. We'll hit pair, confirming that this is the correct code that your phone is sharing with the vehicle. And we'll give the car permission to use Apple CarPlay. And we'll also enable it on the vehicle. And there we have it, your Apple CarPlay. Now, the apps that you'll be able to use with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are apps that are safe to use while you're driving. So this will include navigation, music, audiobooks, podcasts, um, and any other app that's safe to use while you're driving. Uh, so in this case, um, it also has other uh, apps such as ChargePoint. If you have a plug-in hybrid, uh, you'll be able to download the ChargePoint app to be able to find charging stations and you know, be able to locate which ones are available, which ones are level one, two, or fast chargers. You also have different apps like Spotify, um, Apple Music, if you have other types of navigation apps such as Google Maps or Waze in addition to Apple Maps, you'll be able to see those as well. And you just press the app like you would on your device and it mirrors your phone. So whatever addresses you have saved, in this case it shows that I have my work address saved, it'll pull it up because it's mirroring my iPhone. That's how you connect your connected services and your Apple CarPlay as well as your Android Auto. It's the same process. If you have any questions, you can always feel free to give us a call here at Manhattan Beach Toyota. My name is Nico and I'll be happy to assist you.